Now, before I started this channel, way, way, way back when I was in college, I did a couple of reviews where I looked at NECA figures. So I figured I'll post a couple of these up, just as throwbacks, and I hope you enjoy. Papa DeVigi here again to bring you one of the Lost Tribe members, the Guardian Predator. Predator 2 was released in 1990. It took place not in a jungle, but rather in the city of L.A. At the end of the film, several Predators show themselves in a ship. This is one of those Predators, known as the Gort. Originally, this mask was to be the mask of the first Predator, so there's some trivia for you. For articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, able to rotate 360 degrees, move down, up, and also side to side. Ball hinge shoulders can rotate around and go up and down. It is a little hindered by the armor. Ball hinged elbows can go up and down as well as rotate. Ball jointed hands, similar to other figures, have a good range of motion. For his waist, it's sort of a ball joint that can move up and down and rotate 360 degrees. Ball hinged thighs can go side to side and up and down. At the ball, it can swivel as well, but mine is tight. Double jointed knees, composed of two hinge joints, allow for some neat positioning. And finally, ball jointed feet. For a predator we only see for a couple of seconds on screen, the figure is very detailed. At 8 inches tall, his mask, weapons, armor, skin, and even the netting he wears is all there with great paint apps. Individual hair is a great touch. Even two satchels, or pouches, are included held on by string. Get ready for the accessory roll call. He's got a plasma caster, wrist blades, throne disc, and a combi stick. The plasma caster rests on his back. It is able to rotate and also slide up to an attack position. The gun itself is on a ball joint but mine is stiff and won't move. The wrist blades can extend. But they feel like they can break, so be careful. The throne disc is a solid, thin piece of plastic. It has some detail and holes for the figure to hold it. It is able to store on his leg. As you can see, I have some trouble, and you have to give it some pressure for it to stay in place. The compi stick is 9 inches long. It does not retract but is very detailed. In this shot you can see red dots similar to the self-destruct screen on the Predator's gauntlet. To put it in his hand, simply slide it into his open fingers. Friction will keep it in well. To compare this 8 inch figure, I put him next to Simon Belmont who is 7 inches. Now this picture is a little off since the Predator is closer, but you get the main idea. Well till next time, this is Papa DeVigi signing off.